Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm so excited to do. I'm back with the Will I Buy It series. So I post my Will I Buy It every single Wednesday where I'm chatting over the new makeup releases and letting you know a little bit about them, if I'm gonna pick them up or pass over them. Last week I wasn't able to upload the like usual Will I Buy It because I was doing some traveling and um, you kind of have to film these on a timely basis and I was gonna be gone uh, so it wasn't going to make sense to film the Will I Buy It because I was only going to have like four things to talk about, which like shout out to when I first started this series because that's how I did it. I took like the top four things that were releasing and talked about them. <laughs> that was several years ago. Last week I actually ended up doing a live chat on Wednesday and it was all about my trip to LA. I went to the American Influencer Awards. I actually won my category. I had to get up on stage and have a speech and it was so very scary. So I talked about that whole experience in Wednesday's live chat and then kind of the will I buy it style video that went up was uh, all about new releases and like holiday sets at Ulta Beauty. So I've done a Sephora one in the past and then uh, there was the Ulta one that went up last week too. So I'll link that video if you missed it because that one didn't end up going up until Saturday. So last week was a little bit of a different week because of me having to be out of town but we're back this week. It's probably going to be a really long video because we have so many new releases to talk about. Check out that live chat. I do cry a few times but it was a really cool experience. Thank everyone who encouraged me to go to LA. I really I really wasn't sure that I wanted to even g go, <laughs> go. I mean, I was really nervous about it and I ended up having a pretty nice time and won an award, which was pretty cool. So yeah, that was, that was pretty awesome. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in. Cause like I said, I know we have a lot to chat about this week. Um, so I typically start off talking about ColourPop because it seems like that's what a lot of people get really interested in and I get the most tags on it. And ColourPop has so many new releases that it's crazy. So first off, they did a new collab with Kathleen Lights. I'm a big fan of Kathleen Lights. I buy a lot of her collabs. I buy a lot of her ColourPop collabs. And um, so they are coming out with new uh, curated palettes and also compacts. And so we have the eyeshadow palette in Minor in Astrology. You have the 24 shadow palette and that's $45. And that has the shadows picked out by Kathleen. So um, they're not new shades. Like I know she said she had Glass Bowl in there, which is a shade that I do already own, but she kind of picked um, you know some of her favorite shades to have in there. So if you purchase the curated palette, it's $45. Or you can purchase the empty magnetic palette and that is 10 and fill them with your own shadows. It also came out with the Light as Air Signs. This is a six pan blush palette. Again, $45 for the six blushes. The There's four in there that Kathleen actually designed with ColourPop. I purchased two of them myself. I have I Need Space and Lunar Has It. And then she picked um, two of her other, like I know her favorite bronzers in there. And then I think it was another blush that she put in. Um, so that's $45 if you want to purchase the six shadows in there, or again, you can purchase it empty for $10. And then um, there is the blush in a compact for $9. I watched her video and it, she said that a lot of people were asking if she'd come out with the blush in a compact. So that is what they did. Um, so that's pretty fun to see. I personally don't need any of this myself. I do have quite a few ColourPop singles and I have some of the repeats that are in the curated palette and then like I said I purchased two of the blushes myself so I don't feel like I really need that blush palette um to have and, and they're not all blushes there's the bronzer in there too but especially since I already own two of them I just don't feel like I necessarily need that and again like the blush and the compacts I just have my blushes in a magnetic palette and I think that works just fine for me but I really like the packaging on the different compacts. I think that's really cool. If it got to a point where I felt like I needed an empty one, I feel like I would purchase one of these empty ones to be able to fill with any of my magnetic pans because I really like, uh, I really like the the packaging on those. I think that's a very cute. So that is one of the new releases from ColourPop. They also came out with a new collection, and this is the butterfly butterfly collection. Uh, so in this collection, we have the Flutterby eyeshadow palette, and that is $18. There's a Super Shock shadows for $6 each, a Jelly Much uh, eyeshadow for $8, and then they have Luxe lipsticks that are $7.50 each, or you can purchase a bundle 
for $34. And then there's also the Pixie Puff Highlighter for $16. This is also available now, so I'll have the link down below. I have some of the releases on today. So this is the Flutter by Eyeshadow Palette. I have this on my eyes, and I have one of the lipsticks in Virgo Moon on my lips. Uh, I'm filming this on Monday, and then Mitch and I, my husband and I, we are actually traveling for the Thanksgiving holiday to see my family in Alabama so we leave Tuesday morning and we won't be back until Friday so I'm doing a bunch of pre-filming today to try to prepare for that so Friday's video is going to be about this collection I'm going to share uh, this look that I did here and swatches of everything so if you guys want to see that that's going to be Friday's video because Colourpop did just send this over to me the palette is really pretty um kind of like your mauve tones it's a little bit more cool toned kind of a little bit more of a muted palette too which i like i when i first saw the photo i can't say that i wanted to like run out and grab this one right away i really do like ColourPop eyeshadow palettes they're some of my favorite pressed palettes um they're pressed eyeshadow palettes i just think are fantastic especially for the prices i think that they're great i do have quite a few though and even though i really like this color scheme it's very me i wear a lot of purples i love wearing mauves i just when i first saw it i wasn't immediately like i must run out and grab that um, but I wanted to be able to try it out and do some swatches and share just like a quick and easy eye look, which is what I kind of do all of the time. And then the final thing that ColourPop released is the Bare Necessities collection. It includes another of what they call their mega eyeshadow palettes. So the Bare Necessities mega eyeshadow palettes, this has 30 shades and, and uh, it has matte and shimmers. This one is going to be available November 28th. There's also a brush roll in this collection and that has uh, 14 different brushes in there. I'm not a fan of the larger palettes um, and ColourPop, it's interesting because ColourPop is kind of I think with their pressed palettes a little bit more well known for their smaller palettes than the monochromatic nine pans, the 12 pan palettes. Uh, so when they first did like their first mega palette, it was actually in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and they came out with the So Jaded. And again, like I said, I really enjoy Kathleen. I buy a lot of her collabs, but I ended up not purchasing the So Jaded because I just don't reach for larger eyeshadow palettes anymore. I know a lot of people still really do enjoy them. I know a lot of people still really like having so many options in one palette. I just personally, that's just not really a me thing. Looking at this palette, I will say when I saw the first photo of it, I actually thought this was BH Cosmetics because um, BH can put out larger palettes too, but that's kind of where my mind first went to. And I, I just feel like sometimes with some of these larger palettes, I say this a lot about like the Morphe 35 palettes, it almost looks like you can dupe shadows within the palette, like you can dupe the shades in there. And so I feel like when I look at the close-up of this palette and the inside of this palette, it just even though I love these shades, I, I love neutrals and all of that, I just don't look at it and think like I'm I absolutely must have this palette. I think there's so many in my collection that I do have. And I do have a larger collection, of course. I know not everyone does, but if you do have a larger collection like me, it's just to me it's just really easy to see like little palettes that I already have inside this one. And I just reach for those more. The brush set does look really nice. I have tried ColourPop brushes. I do like them. I wouldn't say they're like my absolute favorite brushes, but they do make some nice ones. I use some of their brushes um, like for some of my face products today, like a bronzing brush. And um, so I, I like them. I've tried them out. I, I think that they're nice. I think brush sets like this with the 14, um, like the face and the eye brushes. I think, I, like I used to purchase a lot of these when I was beginning in makeup and I actually purchased a lot from BH Cosmetics because the prices were so good and you could really learn why you like different brushes and what brush styles you like for what techniques. It's kind of really nice to learn them, but I think the brush roll looks nice and then the brushes inside, I think they all do look really pretty. Um, and again, I like the ColourPop brushes, but for me, not anything, not anything that I feel like I must run out and get for myself. Okay, so that was all the ColourPop that has released. And then I think kind of the other really big news that, that came out was that Jaclyn Hill is having her second launch with her cosmetics line. She's now coming out with a new collection and this is all highlighter focused. So, and I have a lot of thoughts. And I know a lot of people have been asking me what my thoughts were. And my first thought is that it's nice to see that someone can get knocked down and come back from it. I think that's a big thing. 
Um, it's, it's actually, it, I mean, it's something that I really admire Kathleen Lights for and what she went through with KL Polish and having to close KL Polish and now she just came back with Lights Lacquer. People are more interesting to me when things don't go right, when things don't go your way, um, when you do fail at something and you're able to come back from it because I have failed in my life. I have failed at things and a lot of times I have been too afraid to try again. So with Jaclyn Hill, I truly quite like can't quite imagine what she went through so publicly with the failed lipstick launch and everything that happened. I like I truly can't even imagine how that must have gone. So for her to be able to come back and come back with a new launch, I think that's great. But I don't feel like there was a lot of resolution with the lipsticks. And that part is really still bothering me. And so it's like on one hand I want to give like kudos and I want to say like way to go. And on the other hand I want to say I don't think that it was handled properly as a business owner, as a CEO, and as a consumer. You know, I purchased those lipsticks. I still feel a little like what happened? And it bums me out. Another thing I'll say, like I said, I bought the lipsticks. I bought them the day that they launched and I ended up having to pull my video. You know, I made a video right away, swatching, um, trying everything on, you know, doing all of that. I ended up taking down the video because of everything that was happening and um, I went through and started like really swatching my lipsticks. My lipsticks didn't have, it, it wasn't visible to my eye, you know how some people were like opening the cap and you could immediately something, you could see something was wrong. Mine were, you had to, I had to really like be swatching them to start to find um, the issues with my lipsticks. But I ended up taking it down, I put up a new video and I just kind of was talking about my thoughts and I hated making that video. I hated it. I didn't want to make that video, but I felt responsibility as a YouTuber to make that. And one of the things that I was trying to touch on in that video was that I just don't think it's fair for a YouTuber like me and the next person to get the kind of hate and um, just certain backlash that we were getting as YouTubers who decided to spend our own money on a launch and create a video about it, but then when something goes wrong with the launch, we're somehow getting blamed for it. I didn't think that was fair, and it was a big reason that made me want to not purchase from the Jaclyn Cosmetics because this has happened to me in the past where I get something, I get a collaboration with Jaclyn, and I drop everything to make that video because I, one, I'm so excited about it. I'm so excited about it, I wanna make it, I know people wanna see it, I know people are curious about my opinions. So I either spend a lot of money or spend a lot of money and time. I put, like I prioritize those videos and then something goes wrong with the launch and I have to take it down. And yet I still get comments of like, I can't trust you anymore, you're dishonest, how could you not see like something was wrong with your lipsticks? I mean, just all these types of comments. And I know what happened with other YouTubers too. Almost everyone took down their original videos and came back and made other videos and it sucks. It's not a fun situation. That was the big reason why I made that was basically saying like, I'm, I'm so tired of spending so much money on these launches of dropping everything and putting them first and then still somehow I'm getting screwed over in the end. Like, that sucks. I don't want to do this anymore. And one thing about that video that I'll say, because I really grappled with myself of do I make this video or not, but I pulled the original video. People are asking me my thoughts on it. I mean, I was getting bombarded on, on Twitter, on YouTube, on Instagram, in my comments, in my DMs. People were emailing me like, what are your thoughts? What are you doing? Where's your video? Like all this stuff. And I'm just like, huh. I didn't want to make that video because it didn't, I didn't feel good about it. And when I was grappling with myself of like, what do I do? One of my questions was, why are you making this video? Why are you doing this? And one of the things that I never want to do is solely make videos for views, for clicks. That's not how I'm trying to find my way on YouTube. That's not how I'm trying to, you know, hopefully be somewhat successful on YouTube is by clickbait. Um, I, I, I mean, just talking about certain topics that I know are going to get views and I'm only making them for the views. 
and I was talking to a few of my YouTube friends when I went to LA the other week and I was telling them this story and how I felt and I'm going along and I'm talking about the video and how I didn't want to make it and how I was having like an internal struggle with myself and I told them that I decided not to monetize that video when I put it up explaining about my just like thoughts and feelings about Jacqueline Cosmetics and my friends were like no you did it like why would and I was like I know but I said it's because I want it like I truly wanted to know to myself that I didn't have like ill intentions making that video and of course the video got a ton of views it got like 45,000 views in 48 hours which my videos normally don't even get 45,000 views it would have been a nice <laughs> paycheck probably from YouTube and it was after a week that it went up I finally put an ad on it but I just didn't I didn't want to make that video it didn't feel good making it I didn't want to do it but I felt like I had to address it and I felt like I had to stick up for other youtubers that were being slung through the mud because of the entire situation that we had nothing to do with the hard part for me is that I Jacqueline Hill was one of the first people I started watching on YouTube I think she was number two that I started watching on YouTube behind Carly Bible. She's a big reason why I decided to start my channel. I've always been such a big fan and I think that's why I think that's why people get curious about my thoughts and opinions because I have like vocally always been a very big fan. I actually put on Morphe's PR list when Jacqueline was first coming out with her her um palette with Morphe. And I was so excited when I got it. It's it, like, I I mean, I was putting it on my Instagram stories. Like, I was crying when I got it. It meant a lot to me. It meant... Okay, this is dumb. It meant a lot to me that someone that I looked up to and someone who I didn't even know knew my name added me to PR and wanted me to have this palette. It meant a lot to me, okay? And so when everything happened, like, so I was so excited when her brand was coming out and I, I, like, I couldn't wait. I wanted to support. And then when all that happened and especially to get so many comments attacking me and seeing my friends being attacked, I was just fed up with it. And so I made that video and I tried to be polite as I could. I'm, I try not to be a negative person. I try to see the positives and everything. I try to give people benefit of the doubt and second chances. But at that point, like I had kind of reached my limit. And I never really felt great about it. There was so many times where I almost took the video down and I was like, well, then you're going to get even more questions. I just don't know what to do. But the biggest thing was, is that I never felt great about it. Flash forward to where we are now. And I'm sorry that this is a long story, but I didn't want to make a whole other separate video about it. It just seemed silly. At the American Influencer Awards that I was at, Jacqueline Hill was there. And at the pre-party, I saw her. I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, you know, you could just go up and introduce yourself or just say hello. And I'm like, but what if she saw that video? And it, it didn't make me feel good. And I ended up not. Like, I didn't, I didn't say anything to her. I didn't introduce myself. But what was interesting was how bad I felt about myself in that moment. I felt like I couldn't go up and say hello to someone when we were just like, you know, a short distance away from each other. And that sucks. And that's something that I really reflected on like the next day, the next couple days, and I thought about it. Because again, I still like, I just, I don't feel like I did anything wrong, but it still just didn't make me feel good about myself. The biggest part of what I'm trying to say is that I truly did feel disappointed in myself because I felt like I was putting someone down and that's not what I want to do. That's not how I want to be known. That's not how, that's not like the message I want to give to other people. Oh, I talked about this in my live chat that it was interesting when I watched the video back, like when I win and I'm coming up on the stage, like the camera's like panning the audience. And it was just weird because like she was front row and center of course. And she was like clapping really hard, like like up here, like clapping and smiling and like kind of almost like bouncing in her seat. And it's just weird how that felt nice to have. Cause there was like this whole thing of with the American Influencer Awards, like no one's clapping for each other. And I was like, I don't know when I won and the camera was panning, I saw people clapping for me. I heard it. I was walking by looking at people in the middle of my speech. People started to clap for me. Like, I don't know. 
but what a nice feeling. I don't know if I'm just too Midwest, like I just really want to believe the best in people, but I just do. I just do. That's just the way that I prefer to live my life. To actually talk about the highlighters, I'm so sorry. I, I know, I know. But these are for her holiday collection. So she has a bunch of different like finishes of these highlighters. There's the Luminous Powder in five shades for $32. There's two different highlight palettes, which has four shades each for $49. There's the Beaming Loose highlighter, which is uh, in five shades and it comes with $24. And there's also brushes in here. There are also different bundles in here. It's going to be available November 26th at the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. So regardless of all of this and like, am I going to purchase the highlights and, and all of that, I don't feel like anything is necessarily screaming me. I always try to be really transparent with you guys and just try to tell you like how I'm actually thinking and feeling and so I wanted to share that. I have seen a lot of videos about it. I've seen some different reviews on it. One thing I'll say that I think is really good about this release is her actual video where she shares swatches of everything. I feel like this release was done so much better than the lipsticks. The lipsticks was like, she was far away. You couldn't really see the swatches. Like I couldn't really get a lot out of that video trying to understand the different undertones, like different look. Like I just, I, I didn't think that video was done very well. And I felt like the, the highlight video was done so much better. Actual video was so much better. Um, I've been hearing really positive things like PR actually went out, which is a big thing. I think that's important. I'm glad to see that PR went out ahead of time so people could review on it. I've seen Christy's review. I've seen Kathleen Light's review. Patrick Starr had a review. I think that's a really good thing. So I'm so glad that this launch went better. I, I really am. Cause I don't want people to fail. I don't thrive on that. I don't get off when someone's going through a hard time. Regardless, I don't really do loose highlighting powders. They're just not really for me. And the highlight palettes do look pretty and the swatches have all looked pretty and everyone putting them on. Everything has looked really nice, but I try to only do like highlight duos these days, maybe like a trio, but highlighting palettes, I just don't get as much use out of. And the prices are higher. I do think the prices are high. Um, $49 for the palettes, $32 and $24 for the loose highlighters. Like. I, I'm just, or one's a luminous powder, like you're supposed to be able to like mix it in with their setting powder. And then one's the loose highlight. I just don't think I would reach for these a lot. So I don't think that this is the collection for me, which I'm okay with. Um, so I, I'm still, regardless, I'm still going to go ahead and skip over it. Um, I'm really happy that everything looks nice. I'm really happy that this launch seems to be going better. I do still think though that the lipsticks should have been addressed in a better way. I think there's still a lot of questions out there and I don't think that that's right and that's what I wish to see from the brand. I know it's got to be hard when you come out with your first brand and if something goes wrong and especially if it goes wrong on that level but I do think that there is whether you're a youtuber or whether you are not I think that there is still a responsibility to step up and tell people what is happening and I wish that that would have happened. If that would have happened maybe I would be like ah might pick up a highlight palette and try it out. Might pick up one of the loose highlights and just test it out and see. But I still just don't feel to that point of comfortability yet. I do wish it the best. I'm never going to like root for someone to fail. Whether it's someone I've enjoyed for years. Whether it's someone I don't even watch their videos. I'm not rooting for people to fail. That's just not the way that I work. And um, so yeah. That's a little bit about that. And I'm sorry. I know that was really long. But I've also been getting asked a lot of questions about it. Okay, moving on to some other releases. So Benefit is coming out, I got quite a few tags. Benefit's coming out with a new uh, primer. This is to the professional family and this is the Hydrate Primer. So sm a silky smooth hydrating face primer to instantly moisturize and refresh skin. It's going to be $32 for the full size and $13 for the mini. First of all, love that they're coming out with the mini. I think that that's great. I do typically have dry skin. My skin is kind of changing a little bit. I've been talking about it here and there. I feel like it's a little bit more combo right now. Um, but normally if I see a hydrating primer, I would get very excited because I use them the most. Right now I feel like I'm just kind of in like this weird time and generally a primer is not something I'm running out to just go ahead and get. It's kind of one of those like if I'm shopping and I see it, I might throw it in. But usually I'm, I'm not just going out and getting a primer like I would, like a foundation, a highlight, a palette, a lipstick, and that sort of thing. But I do like that they have the mini. I like the Porefessional Primer, the original one from Benefit, but it's not an absolute like favorite of mine. I like that they finally have different options. I feel like for a long time Benefit was really only coming out with like one shade of bronzer, one type of primer. And I'm glad that they're finally starting to be like, okay, we need to like expand and like 
have products available for everybody that's good so so I am happy to see that uh, I saw that you know Black Friday is coming up so uh, there is going to be an eyeshadow palette vault by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is going to have the modern renaissance and the soft glam and it's going to be $49 so normally I think it's 49 for one so um you get the modern renaissance and the soft glam i already own those palettes so i wouldn't be picking it up for myself and anastasia is going to have quite a bit of like black friday and holiday gift sets they have the norvina blockbuster collection there's the holiday mini matte lipstick set for 59 i don't really like anastasia's lipsticks to be honest with you um, i like the glosses and there is a holiday lip gloss set for 65 dollars so they're going to have a lot going on. This is going to be available at uh, Sephora and Ulta Beauty as well. But definitely a lot happening with Anastasia. But I think a lot of people are pretty excited for um, the eyeshadow collections as well. So Good Molecules is coming out with a new product. This is an affordable skincare brand that's available at Beautylish. So they're coming out with the silicone free priming moisturizer to smooth hydrate and prep your skin for makeup. It's going to be $14. I actually just mentioned a, a product from Good Molecules in my makeup monthly, one of their skincare products, one of their oils. I've really, really been liking that and uh, I got sent over a couple things from the brand and I want to try a few more things. The oil just kind of called to me the most right away and uh, really been enjoying it. So the silicone free priming moisturizer, I don't know, again, I don't feel like it's a product that I'm gonna run out and just grab for like on its own, um, but I definitely wanna try a few more products from the brand and, and get some more thoughts on them. Then we, I've already chatted about CoverGirl coming out with a new foundation, but they're actually releasing more from this uh, Clean Fresh line. And this is the one where they are also available on Amazon, so I'll have the links down below. But they're also coming out the Cooling Glow Stick, which is a shimmer highlighter. It's $11.99. And also a cream blush. These are also $11.99. And then um, we talked about the foundation already. I'm not a huge fan of stick products or cream products, so I'd probably pass over these because they don't seem to be like right up my alley. He's coming out with a few new eyeshadow palettes. The 18A Blue Ya Away Artistry Palette and 18T Truth or Bear Artistry Palette. These have 18 shades and they're $18 each. Neither of the palettes really call to me. One has a lot of blues in it, of course, the Blue Ya Away. I don't go for blues a ton. It's not a color that I wear the most and the other one is just very neutral. And again, it's kind of one of those palettes that I feel like you really don't need all of those shades. Like smaller palettes would be better for me. And cosmetics is coming out with a new collection. This is the Magic Hour collection. So you have the Divine Skies eyeshadow palette for $38. There's a blush for $34. There's tinted lip luminizers for $22. Uh, and uh, I don't see a release date on this one. Oh, it's available now. So I'll, I'll have the M Cosmetics linked in my description box. I think it's pretty like the aesthetic behind this collection. I, I think it's very like pleasing to my eye. Um, but it's a, it's, it's also not calling to me and like I must go purchase this. I also haven't tried a ton from M Cosmetics, so I'm not super loyal to the brand or anything. I'd love to know if you've tried them. The lip uh, luminizers, is that what they were called? The Yeah, the tinted lip luminizers. They look pretty. I just doubt that I would wear them a ton. So um, I think everything in the collection looks nice, but probably not for me. Uh, Victoria Beckham is coming out with a new product. This is her first skin product. This is the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. Uh, it's going to be available November 19th. Uh, so this one is, let me tell you, it's $95, which that is very expensive. I know it says it supports cell turnover, uh, activates skin's own regenerative process, and all of that is great, but that's going to be a little bit pricey for me right now. I haven't tried anything from Victoria Beckham Beauty yet. It's fun to see when a newer brand is also coming out with new products. Like, what are they, you know, releasing right away? I think it makes sense for her to do the skincare stuff too. And I think that's exciting, but... I probably don't need it. So Elsie Cosmetics is coming out with some new lip products. These are lipsticks for $24 each. Um, they also do have matching lip liners for $20 and they are available now. So again, I'll have it linked down below. There's a few things that I like from LC Cosmetics. I actually did just review their sponge in my latest makeup monthly too. So if you want to check that one out, I got a few things to say about that sponge. Uh, but I don't know, there hasn't, 
out of what I've tried so far, I haven't like fallen in love with anything. So it doesn't necessarily make me, again, want to like run out and grab something from the brand. I think the lipsticks look nice. Um, they have vitamin E. They're supposed to be really nourishing and long lasting and creamy. And that sounds great. But I just picked up a few new lip items in my most recent Sephora haul. So I feel like I probably don't have to grab those. I got some tags on this Friends palette. Okay, so it says if you're a friend's if you're a fan of the Friends TV show and love the 90s vibe, you're going to love this new eyeshadow palette available at Shop Peachy Queen, which I'm not super familiar with myself. I'm not really sure. There's 16 shades. There's The shade names are like Smelly Cat, How You Doing, Pivot, $29.99. I think that it's cute and everything. And I love Friends. Like, I'm like I'm a friend fanatic. I, I, I love Friends. Um, but I don't know if I necessarily need this one. I never really know how it works when brands come out with things like this because it doesn't say friends anywhere but like obviously with the um like with the door and everything and the coloring the by peachy queen like obviously it looks all like friends. I never really know if they're like I just don't know how it works with like licensing and licensing and stuff I guess is what I'm saying but I think also inside with like some of the shades like the blues and the greens I don't think I would get a ton of use out of this so even though I am a friends lover I, I didn't get overly excited when I saw it so I think that I can probably pass on that one uh, I got some tags on this palette from Laroc Cosmetics, but it's L-A-R-O-C underscore cosmetics. They came out with the Artistry Book eyeshadow palette with 48 shades and it's 39.99 euros it says. I don't really understand the brand name. I don't know why they would come out with La Rock or La Roque or I'm not really sure how you say it because obviously it looks like La Roque Cosmetics which is a brand that's been out forever. Um, that's kind of confusing to me. I don't really understand that. I would never purchase something that has for I never say never Samantha because you don't know your preferences might change bought big eyeshadow palettes before but as of this moment I would not purchase something that has the 48 shades like it looks fun and everything and I'm, I know there are people out there that would want to buy it but I'm just kind of like the whole thing just kind of confuses me to be honest uh, I saw that Chloe Morello is doing a collaboration with Face Halo and they're coming out with the Cherry Morello Face Halo. So it is the red Face Halos. I've really been wanting to try it. I think I'm actually getting the FabFit Fun box this month and I saw some people were getting the Face Halos in there and I hope that my box has it because I think that'd be awesome. I would really like to try it. It says Face Halo replaces up to 500 single use makeup wipes, gently removes makeup and impurities. Um, this is going to be limited edition and it's $28. I like that. I'm interested in that. I definitely, like, I'm, I'm interested in trying one of these. I, I know a lot of people are really enjoying them too. And I definitely want to get on that and start trying them out. And I don't know, I like the looks of the red one. I, like, I think it's fun. Collab with Chloe Morello. If you love her, that could be a fun one to try out. Uh, speaking of collaborations, Tarte did a collaboration with Lily Pons. This has an eye and cheek palette, uh, lashes, and also a gloss. I don't, I'm not familiar myself with Lily Pons. I believe from what I was hearing, she actually, um, I think got like a lot of fame through TikTok, which I don't have that app. I, to be honest, I don't understand TikTok at all. Don't really get it. Um, so I'm not familiar with her, so it didn't make me want to run out and grab it. And just by the looks of everything, I don't think that it necessarily screamed to me either. So I would be passing over that. Uh, House Laboratories or House Labs, which is Lady Gaga's brand, is coming out with items for the holidays. She has the sparkly lipstick in Burlesque, which is $20, and then the Glam Attack Metallic Creme Liquid Eyeshadow. Uh, these are available now also on Amazon. I think the items look pretty. Um, I think like the makeup looks that I see in these photos are very gorgeous, but I haven't tried anything from the brand yet. I feel like I haven't heard a ton except for the people who went to like the launch party. I I don't know otherwise I just feel like I haven't heard a whole lot yet so I don't really feel like everything is necessarily for me so I would still pass over that one uh, there's a new eyeshadow palette coming out from Nabla Cosmetics this is the Mystic palette it has 12 shades with different finishes available November 21st I think this one looks really pretty I haven't tried anything from Nabla yet but especially the swatches I thought looked really gorgeous of this palette sometimes when it comes to a brand that I haven't tried anything from yet I really need that first item to just be like bam like I really really want to try this one and I feel like I really like the looks of this one from Nabla Cosmetics what are you guys thinking about this one 
again i just think like the swatches in this photo like i don't know i think that that one looks really nice so i'm considering that one from nabla brand Halo taco which is a nail brand started by simply nail logical is coming out with some shades for the holidays these all look really pretty and like shiny and sparkly i really like the looks of them there's five new shades for 13 dollars each or you can get the whole collection for 65 dollars I mean like that red like the blue I, I i think that these are really cool like very fun shades very eye-catching like i like my eyes immediately went towards it i typically do the dip powders at the salon so i just kind of choose a color that they have there i think these look really pretty actually if you are a big nail polish fan those look really nice so that's very cool like big congrats to simply nail logical because i think she did a really good job on that collection beauty is coming out with new products and this is all about the metallic gold we have the trophy wife gloss bomb the trophy wife hyper glitz lipstick also the fairy bomb shimmer powder and the hyper metallic liquid eyeliner and these are available november 22nd and also at sephora very pretty but the this like very intense metallic gold doesn't really scream me i really do like the gloss bombs on um, like diamond milk and fussy i think are so beautiful but that kind of like the coloring of everything there doesn't really call out to me so i would uh pass over that one uh let's see bh cosmetics is coming out with their sagittarius palette so this is their nine pan palette for 14 dollars. these have not gone over well with a lot of people in the online beauty community but i i don't mind this one with the different purples I don't know that middle shade is supposed to be a highlighter but i feel like that would look really pretty on the eyes i really like purple so i don't know i don't like i don't mind this one but i'm also not a sagittarius so sagittarius is Sag on my sagittarius squad hmm? you'll have to let us know what you think about this one and if you're really liking it but a lot of them have just been kind of like a little meh for me and i feel like that one looks pretty Wet n Wild has some new products. This is the Hello Halo Blush Lighter. These are available now in CVS and they're $6.49 each. There's half a blush and half a highlighter. I don't mind these duos like this. Um, I, I think that that's fun. I don't have the CVS around here, so I wouldn't be able to just go out and grab them. And Way is coming out with Chill Pills, a scented fizzy moisturizing tablet for a relaxing, skin nourishing, cleansing experience for $28. So it looks to me like a, like basically like a bath bomb. Yeah. A bath bomb i actually don't take baths so i don't i've never really gotten into the whole bath bomb situation um i just mostly stick with showers so i know a lot of people love taking baths to relax i don't find baths relaxing because i'm just sitting there and even if i try to read a book then i'm worried about my hands getting wet and my kindle getting wet or a physical book getting wet i just can't do i don't know i just can't do it i've never like i've never been someone who's enjoyed taking baths this is coming out with some new uh, hemp derived cannabis sativa products we have the happy hydration cream for $12 there's a facial oil for 12 the puff puff primer for $8 and the calm balm for $5 nothing really excites me too much uh, I, I haven't really jumped on this whole train like I've I've kind of dabbled around looking at different like ingredients and what it does and all of that but um, I haven't really like jumped on that train or anything and elf is kind of like hit or miss for me so i think that i can go ahead and pass over those uh, i wanted to talk about a few collabs that have me really excited so um first of all one of my friends michelle wong she came out with her own brush set i think this looks so cool so she collabed with isam cosmetics her brush set of her favorite eye brushes from the line so it says these are going to be available through muse's site through on December 27th at 30% off so it's $125 for the set and you get one two three four five six of these different eye brushes so congrats to Michelle she has such a great channel I've collabed with her in the past I think that she is fantastic I love her live chats I try to swing by as often as I can and she does a very um, like she's mostly a high-end luxury focused channel the first time I actually ever heard of Eason cosmetics was through Michelle's channel So this is such a, a cool collaboration. I'm so excited for her congrats and to my friend So uh, I think the brushes that she chose out all do also look really pretty like there's blending brushes in there I see a flat definer some shader brushes, you know, Eason is a, is a more luxury brand. So 
$125. I know that not everybody would be able to afford that, but um, if you can, if you love the brand, if you love these brushes and Michelle, like I just, I really wanted to point that out because I thought that it was so exciting. So huge congrats to her. And then the other really exciting collab I wanted to tell you about is with Amy Loves Makeup. I'm so excited to see her do a collaboration. This is with Amy Hearts Beauty. This is the Alma palette. It's launching November 29th on Black Friday. Retails for $42.50. You can use the code Amy Loves for 10% off. And so Amy also runs Indie Makeup Spotlight. So I've mentioned her on the Will I Buy It videos. I actually got to meet Amy Loves Makeup in New York when I went for the Ipsy event and she is so sweet and so kind. And I just, I've been a big fan of her channel for such a long time and I'm so excited for her. So a huge congrats to Amy. Um, I've never tried anything from Amy Hearts Beauty, but I think this palette looks beautiful. It's, I mean, it's what I would have pictured with Amy doing a collaboration. I think that this is so amazing. And um, Amy Loves Makeup actually did reach out to me and said that they were going to send this over to me in PR. So I'm so excited. I can't wait to get it and play with it and see what kind of looks I can do with it. There's a lot of purples in here, which I really, I... I really like purple, so I feel like I can do a little something something. You know, Amy's really good at the colorful looks, and she just like throws these most beautiful, fantastic, amazing looks together, and I'm like in awe of them, and then there's me, and I'm like, what? Um, but I'm gonna try really hard to do some really awesome looks with this one and see if I can do it justice, but big congratulations to two of my friends. I think this is so amazing. I'm so excited to see you guys get these opportunities and just a huge congratulations. And speaking of brush sets, so Sonia G is coming out with a new brush set. This is Beautylish uh, with Sonia G. These are five Japanese eye brushes handcrafted with unique designs. They are permanent. The set is going to be $160 and available on Beautylish. I hear really great things about these brushes. I'm pretty sure Michelle Wong has reviewed them. I think Mel Thompson has. A lot of people have a lot of really good things to say. That is pretty expensive. If I'm between the two brushes, I'm going to purchase Michelle's collab with Isom just to support because I'm so excited. Um, I, I, I like good quality brushes and I don't mind investing in brushes because you can use them so like over and over again. And you know, I think that's fantastic and everything, but I don't know, $160. I just wouldn't be able to do on brushes. But again, if you are a high end luxury fan, I do hear really, really positive things about, um, the Sonia G brushes. I'm just going to wrap it up with, we have some new releases from, uh, Kylie Cosmetics. She did announce her holiday set that is coming out. So, um, we have, she's got lip kits in here. She's got the Santa Claus North Pole eyeshadow palette with 16 shades for $48. Um, there's glosses, face primer, setting spray. I mean, Kylie Cosmetics always comes out with very large collections. I do think the eyeshadow palette looks nice. The past, like, couple of eyeshadow palettes Kylie has released, I've been like, they look pretty. I started purchasing from Kylie Cosmetics when they first came out, had a few issues and it just kind of made me scale back a little bit. Um, but you know, I'm so, I like, I never say never. I never say never. You, you know, if something really calls my attention, um, you know, I'll definitely think about it. I'm trying to think if it was like her Valentine. I feel like there was another palette that I was almost sold on and my comment section actually talked me out of it. So you can let me know what you think about this one. Um, but I do think that it's really pretty. And then also the blush highlighter duos. These are $20. I think these look really pretty too. Again, I like the duos. It's, you know, if you wanted something similar, we talked about the one from Wet n Wild, so you could grab that one too, but I like the looks of everything. Obviously the red packaging is very holiday, but I feel like the inside of the palette also says very holiday to me because sometimes it's only the outer packaging and, and all of that. I think everything looks really pretty with this one. Thinking about the eyeshadow palette and the blush and highlight duo, that's where I'm at. You guys can let me know if you're interested in this one or if you'd like to see reviews on it. Definitely let me know if there's anything that you want to see me use on my channel too. And that's always helpful. It doesn't mean I'm going to run out and buy everything that you guys want to see because I can't afford to do that on everything, but it's nice to get the feedback. And it's also coming out with some minis for holiday. I haven't tried anything from Kylie Skin yet. I feel like I kind of hear a little bit of mixed feedback. So um, her the mini set will be available November 25th. I'm probably going to pass over this one. Again, I just haven't tried anything from the brand yet. I don't like to do too much new skincare all at one time because, you know, face can react kind of crazy and everything. So out of her collabs, I'm more interested in the Kylie Cosmetics versus the Kylie Skin. The final thing that I'm going to wrap it up with, I know this video is so long. I'm so sorry, but 
that's what happens when you take a week off. But um, Kim Kardashian is coming out with another collection with Makeup by Mario. And uh, so we have the Beauty Icon Lip Liner for $12. There's matte lipsticks. There is glosses, blushes, the Artist and His Muse eyeshadow palette, which is $45. Um, there's the lip bundle that you can purchase, the Mario Eyeshadow Duo, the complete collection is $95, and um, this is available now on KKW Beauty. I haven't tried anything from KKW Beauty myself, I just haven't really been interested in a ton of different things. So, this one... I think is interesting too because at the American Influencer Awards, um, Makeup by Mario was actually getting like the big award of the night and it was presented by Kim Kardashian. I didn't know Kim Kardashian was going to be there and all of a sudden she came walking out on the stage and was like not that far away from me and I was like, whoa, this is kind of crazy. I didn't know this was going to happen. And she, you know, had really nice things to say, of course, about Mario. There was a really touching video that was played about him and his family and where he came from and how he got into makeup. And his speech was actually very emotional. Like, I was crying listening to his speech. And, um, I don't know, it was very, it was very moving. And at the same time, the week before I went to LA, I was sick with the flu. I was in bed for a few days and I actually watched a, um, like a, I think it was like the true Hollywood story of, of Kim Kardashian. And it was a recent one. And she talked about Mario and there, and, and he talked about like their friendship and Mario started doing makeup for Kim, like before Kim was who she is now. Cause when she first started getting famous and whatnot, obviously she didn't have a lot of respect. There was the whole sex tape, like none of that helped and, and all of that. And Mario was saying how he had agents telling him, you need to stop working with Kim Kardashian. Like, she's not going to do anything for you. This is going to ruin your career. Agents dropped him because of it. Like, he wasn't getting jobs because he was saying, no, she's my friend and I want to keep working with her and all of that. And then, of course, we know where everything happened and, you know, how successful he is now and, and, and all of that. And I thought that was really cool to hear. I didn't know that. That was something I wasn't aware of. And... That's a really nice thing to see when your friends stick with you, even through hard times and all of that. And the relationship that the two of them have, what I see online and through the show and everything, it really is just a touching story. And also the E! True Hollywood story, I think kind of put Kim Kardashian in a different light for me. Watching it and seeing like where she came from and like how much respect that she didn't get in the beginning and how she tried to build this really, I mean lifestyle brand all of that and what she tries to do with her platform with um you know like the jail reform like she's been able to pass bills at the white house i think it's really inspiring to see that because not everyone who is a celebrity and not everyone who has a platform is trying to figure out how to do good for other people and i think that's a really big thing and i was in bed with the flu and feeling so sick but i'm watching this and i all of a sudden feel so motivated. I feel so inspired to look things up for myself. I feel more inspired to work on the different platforms and the different um, items that I'm really passionate about and how lo the little ways that I try to help and give back to the community. And I, you know, I'm always looking for inspiration. I'm always looking for that type of motivation. And I don't know, it gave it to me. And I think that this industry and being a social media influencer is not a very respected one. I think the American Influencer Awards actually showed me that even more. There was a lot of people saying like this isn't a real award show and you know different things like that. I don't think influencers are very respected yet. I think it'll happen one day but Kim Kardashian was like one of the first people to really use social media in this sort of way and to kind of pave the way and I have respect for that. I do. And when I see someone who has all of this fame and all of this money and all of this power and they're really trying to make changes, I get really motivated by that and I can really appreciate that. So those are just a few things I wanted to say because I feel like I've been kind of like hard on KKW Beauty in the past. And again, it's not, I'm not going to run out and buy stuff just to buy stuff. I really want to want the products that I'm purchasing, but I don't know. It just... I'm always looking for inspiration somewhere and I like to share these stories and I like to share when I think things and have these different thoughts and that's the same reason why I wanted to talk about Jaclyn Hill and I want to keep the transparency and I also want people to see that 
kind of what goes on the behind the scenes what goes on in my mind when i see these different things or i feel these different feelings trying to share how different things can kind of make me look at things differently how i can have different perspectives on other things and you know hopefully that continues to happen as i grow and mature i mean i'm 32 years old now but i feel like i'm still gonna learn so much i feel like my perspectives will be changed i'll get inspired by different things or i'll be able to look at situations differently and i'm appreciative of that again i try to think of myself as a positive person i try to um be looking for positives and I'm okay living my life that way. In regards to the collection, really the only thing that called my attention personally was kind of like this peachy lip gloss. I thought that was pretty. I don't know if I'll again run out and grab it. The eyeshadow palette I think looks pretty, but it's just not like it doesn't call to me enough. And even though I might be feeling some different things or inspired or or all of that, I'm, I still can't buy just to buy i still want to buy things that i really want that's where i want to end <laughs> this video i'm sorry i know that this was so long of course we had two weeks to go through so we had so many different releases to chat about i had some different stories that i wanted to share in there hope that you enjoyed it i would love to hear your thoughts down below please keep it positive that's all i ask for in my comment section and other than that if you guys did enjoy this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go have a happy thanksgiving if you are in the u.s and you are celebrating tomorrow i hope that you have a great one i will see you back here in friday's video bye